What is up, YouTube? It's Jason right here. I'm gonna give you the next top 10 secret tweaks for a jailbreak on iOS device running iOS 10. So let's get started with the video. All right, so our first tweak on our list is Lock Watch Beta. So this is a beta tweak, but it runs very smoothly, and you do need a custom repository to be opening screens down below the description as well. So all it does, uh, it gives you a Apple Watch interface between switching different clocks. So we have all these different clocks right here and you can just switch between them even you can even customize them just like in the apple watch so you can't see this button because i do have uh, notix on a dark mode tweak uh, but this is a customized button right here so you do the click on that you swipe up or down just to change the color of the watch face itself so let's get a nice let's say a red tint and all we want to do is is just un unlock our device and there it is so uh, once we click on the home button, there's the watch face with a different color. And if you want to switch between different faces, all you have to do is just three touch on the watch face and we should be good to go. So there it is. Even uh, tells you if it's going to rain or, or not. So if my area is going to rain by around uh, 1, 2, and 3 in the uh, morning. So yeah, this is a really great tweak. I do really recommend you uh, getting this tweak. It's all helpful. Lock watch beta, it's up and you do need extra repository, it'll be up your screens and down below the description as well. Alright, so this next tweak is an amazing tweak. This is a tweak that you really want to show off to your friends. It's called Live Paper. You do need a custom repository, it'll be up your screens and down below the description as well. So wherever your camera is seeing, that's your wallpaper. So your camera uh, wherever your camera sees it's your wallpaper so as you can see if I do move around uh, my phone there it is and as you can see this is a very well optimized tweak and the better the newer the iPhone the better uh, the better it will run but as you can see it runs very smoothly on my iPhone 7 plus and it's just a very nice tweak that I would like to show off to my friends who want to go um, back to school and yeah so I really do recommend you uh, getting this tweak right here it's called live paper you do need a custom repository so our next week is called mini CC so you do need a custom repository will be opening screens in the description as well and all it does just makes your control center very small so as you can see it just makes it smaller and if you do own the iPhone 7 plus just like me it will look very uh, nice on your device so it's just smaller than the usual um, iOS 10 control center and it makes it look very sleek and stylish so I really do recommend you gra grabbing this tweak and yeah alright so our next tweak is 3 switch so all it does it just gives you a nice animation when scrolling between your apps your app cards and all of that good stuff so we do go to 3 switcher um, settings right here we have between all these different animations so let's see inverse color flow as you can see it just gives you a ni very nice um, animation when scrolling between your cards so it's a very uh, great tweak I do recommend you downloading this tweak and yeah it's all the help of 3 switcher. Alright, so our next week is Zen. So what Zen does, every time you do get a low power notification or anything like that, so every time you get a 20%, a 10% or a 5% notification of your battery uh, going down, you'll get this uh, pop-up right here. And it's a very well-optimized way of actually saving more battery. So every time you get a low battery um, notification, you'll get this pop-up right here. Yeah, you can scroll your brightness up and down. If you want to save battery, you can disable, you can disable Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or get airplane mode on. And we do scroll right here. It tells you all the information about your battery. So as you can see right there, I'm gonna lower the brightness a little bit. So as you can see right there, gives you all the information about your battery, how your phone is uh, cycling, and all that good stuff. And you can even activate low power mode just by clicking right here or disable it as well. So it's all the help of Zen. It's a very great tweak to actually have to save more battery. All right, so our next week is Apex 2. So all this does is just a better way of folder. So if we swipe down on my device, I do have it configured as swiping down. There's an app behind Cydia. And if we do click out of it, it just goes back inside of Cydia. And if we do that one more time, we, we should have more arrows. So we should have a plus button. And we get at least four apps on, onto that uh, Cydia tweak right there. So there it is. So every time we swipe down on my device, we should get all these different apps behind Cydia so we go to Apex 2 settings you go to configuration you have between swipe down swipe up or double tap so let's click on double tap and see how that works so double tap is way better guys so I do recommend you doing double tap if you want to activate um, Apex 2 so yeah it's a very nice tweak better than folders in my opinion and yeah I really do recommend you grabbing this uh, tweak right here all right so our next tweak is called call bar so what call part does it actually gives you a nice minimalistic view when 
getting a phone call. So you know how you're watching a video sometimes and just someone calls you out of nowhere and just interrupts your video. Well, not anymore. With call bar, all it does just gives you a nice little notification saying, oh, this certain person is calling you. You can uh, answer or decline and it's a nice minimalistic view you can still keep on watching your videos even though this is in the background showing up all these little different controls you can even facetime even record i think i think you even record um actual uh, phone calls do not take my word for that but i think you can i'm not really sure i have no one to actually call at this moment right now it's a really great tweak i've always used it every time i jump off my device so yeah i already do recommend you checking it out and it's called the help of call bar for iOS 10, 9, 8, and 7. All right, so our next week is called Don't Kill the Bee. So you know how sometimes you're listening to music and out of nowhere, you just want to take a quick picture, but your music just stops playing because that's how the camera app works. It stops your music, you take your picture, you exit out, and it starts playing again. Now with this tweak right here, Don't Kill the Bee, you need you do need your cousin repository to be up in your screen, so I'll below the description as well. What it does, it just lets your music play in the background uh, even though you're taking a picture or, or even in some other applications that mute your music, uh, this will still be playing in the background. So yeah, so let's play a song right here. And if you're a big fan of The Flash, you should really hear this song. So it's a really good song. I really, really do recommend you checking it out. So um, as you can see, music is playing in the background. We open up the camera application. And as you can see, it's still running. I can take a picture and it's still playing in the background. So I really do recommend you checking out this song as well if you're a big fan of the Flash uh, TV show. So yeah, it's a really great tweak as well. Don't kill the beat, really do recommend it. Cause you post three open screens in the blue description as well. And our last and final tweak is called Hype Man. You do need a custom repository to be up your screens in the blue description as well. I know too many repositories to add, but they're well worth it. So yeah, so what this does, it just announces the song that's playing next. So let's say that click on next song so as you can hear that it says the name and the artist that's going to play uh right now so if we go back so as you can see it says the whole title and the band that's playing it it's a really good tweak um if you have the auxiliary chord and you're just in a party you have your phone like in shuffle mode it'll be like oh next song is playing you know uh, so yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe more to videos, come here and wait, see you right here, see you in the next one, peace!